Yo, what's good? And welcome to another episode of the Migo Experiment. Yes, sir, handily flow. And today, yes, I'm alone today. You know, Bordy's doing something else, man. Guy was not here with me, but it's all good in the neighborhood, man. And we speaking about the neighborhood, we're gonna keep on a local artist today. We're gonna give her a platform. Today we have an urban Latina artist, man, doing things things in Spanish and English, man, actually looking nice as well. She's modeling, doing so many other things, man. Today we have Rena B, it's Rena B from the DMV. Keep up with me. I'm so thankful to be here today. Thank you, Henry Flo, reaching out. Thank you, Migo Experiment. I'm so thankful and appreciative and excited to be here for real. Rena, so tell me, man, what are you? I know you're from local DMV, but what are you? Are you, are you what is your mixture? What is your ethnicity? Dinos. Salvadoreña. My parents were both born in El Salvador. I was born and raised here, but Definitely try to stay close to my roots. Definitely Salvadorian as hell, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, Americana frijolera, huh? That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love my platanos, my frijoles, my crema, all that. <laughs> okay, pupusa, yuca con chicharrón, all that type of stuff too. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, so check it out. So I, I know that you're doing music. Um, you actually have a particular song that that caught my ear, man. The song is called Choosy. And it's different artists as well. Speak about that. Let me know how did that come about? When was it created? So interesting enough, um, around this time last year, I was out in Miami um, and I did a song cover to No One by Alicia Keys and it made it to uh, the ears of Swayze Styles. And he reached out to me to do an EDM song at the time. And it was a really dope opportunity. So I did it, but I didn't want to be known as an EDM artist, but I've been singing all my life. Like I've been writing, singing, all my life was in choir and shit. And when that opportunity got presented to me, I was like, this has to be a sign from God. It has to be a sign. Cause I done left music behind, came back to it. Um, so when I was in Miami, I was like, I need to drop something else. Cause I didn't want to just do EDM. So I came back to the DMV, I started recording. And Young Pad, who's the feature on the song, he was one of the first artists out here in the DMV to give me an opportunity at the studio. So um, I started recording Choosy, which is about taking one-way flights to Miami and about a lover from back home. And he ended up featuring on it. And we got some really good love and traction behind it out here. So yeah, that was, that was Choosy. That's what's up, that's what's up. You said you are, uh, so what, you went to school to become a singer? Did you, did you do that? Did, what? What was that path? In high school, and well, I was in choir like all my life. So up until high school, I went to college, but I ended up dropping out by 19. I knew that I wanted to pursue business and music. So I stopped going to school. But um, as far as music, I was always like posting on YouTube, doing YouTube covers and stuff like that. But I took a step back to pursue business. Mm -hmm. And then last year, sorry, I've been drinking wine. But last year, um, I met Swayze and the opportunity arise for music and I just ran with it, you know? When the universe gives you a shot at something and it feels right, you gotta, you gotta just execute on it. That's what's up, man, that's what's up. So what actually made you good to music? Like, so, so you went Swayze and everybody, but before that, in high school and everything like that. So what inspired you to be a singer? Yeah. So it's wild, cause when I was like three, four years old, my, my parents, my sister, they even tell me I started singing before I even started speaking. Like I would hear Shakira, I'd hear Biggie Smalls, like Shakira and Biggie Smalls, literally Notorious B.I.G. And, and Shakira, those two right there. I was like four or five years old and I would sing their, their shit like in the grocery store, like yeah. barely could talk and I would just sing their music and I would rap Biggie and by the age of seven, I would use my Christmas money to buy like a keyboard. Um, I would use my mom's pans, like take all the pots and pans from the kitchen to drum in the kitchen. I was that annoying child who would just be inventive as fuck. When I got my first computer, like I would write music and I would try and use the keyboards on the like, on the computer to like compose. And then eventually I, I played guitar and piano in high school. In middle school, I played instruments and I just did choir all my life. But um, by the age of 13, 14, I was doing YouTube covers and then I let that shit go. And then I found my way back last year. 
So what, so you compose and you produce too? So back then I would edit my own videos with like iMovie and like GarageBand. It wasn't anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Definitely don't know how to engineer my own music, but that's something that I would love to pursue, like to produce my own stuff for sure, yeah. Dope, that's dope, man. As well yeah. too, uh, uh, so Shakira and Biggie is an influence. That's kind of like one from here, one from over there. It's like, but what was your favorite Shakira song growing up, man? Like, what is it? That song right there, that shit on the beach. I remember watching my parents like play it on TV. That was my shit. And I, I, I could barely speak and I would just sing and they'd be like, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> and then Biggie. Um, Very Biggie song. What, which song was that? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine, salt and pepper and everything in the limousine. Yes. And you get pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, and that just the magic Molly wall. Yo, I remember being like five years old in the grocery store, and people would look at me like, Who is this little, like, get your little girl? Like, what is she doing? Yo, me at five. That was my shit. Shakira and Biggie. That, that means, was it. That means your parents were hip. <laughs> no, they Biggie. That was my parents are like Latino as hell. No, not for real. I mean, they would play like Shakira, Biggie, I think. My sister was more so like into like BET. Like we would watch like BET and like movies and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, that was my shit. That's what I was like raised around. Wow, that's what's up, yeah. though, man. So right now, with a label, independent, what are you right now? Independent as hell. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been at this for like a year now. I've had like artist managers reach out, been working with some producers no labels at all yeah like distribution and stuff like that mm -hmm. i've told myself i don't really see myself signing to a label i want to remain independent as long as i can and just you know god willingly build this thing up organically and do it on my own mm -hmm. um but yeah no labels as of now distribution deal possibly i know me and you talked about that you know that that could be a good you know a good um addition to what i'm trying to do but I don't know if I really see myself signing to a label at this moment. I'm I'm a Taurus. I like being in, I like I like being able to really control my creativity and what I'm putting out and all that. Gotcha, gotcha, man. Taurus is a very strong, strong sign, man. I want to ask you, what's your sign? I'm fire. I'm Aries. Oh, Aries. Yeah. Entrepreneurial as fuck. Visionary as fuck. That makes sense. <laughs> got to be. Got to be. Oh, yeah. uh, Rena B, you being the artist that you are, what is your ideal genre that you always had a dream to be of? R&B, urban Latino, are you pop? Obviously, you say you didn't want to do EDM. So what's that genre that Rena B <laughs> always wanted to be part of? Honestly, me and Shakira, we're soul sisters. So <laughs> she done tapped into every market and Rena B gonna tap into every market. That's it. I always tell people like, I think a lot of producers, they don't necessarily care to work with me because I don't want to be put in a box. Like people have told me like, Rena, you're Latin trap, you're Dembo. Like you're Dembo as fuck. Like you you can do like the Latin trap, um, all that. And I love Latin music. Like I want to tap into that and do all that. But at the same time, I love hip hop and R&B soul. So I don't really see myself in one like lane, in one category. I feel like I'm multidimensional as fuck with everything. Like the moment I start to just settle for one thing, it's like the fun and it kind of goes away. Okay, then do this, finish this sentence. Rena B. Rena B, the multidimensional being. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dope ass. I'm telling you, I feel like I don't know what my future holds, but I do feel like I'm meant to tap into a lot, a lot of shit. And that's why I, I just feel like I'm an all around multifaceted creator. Like I just create shit in all rounds. People don't, people can't really tell me exactly what it is that it is. I know it's fashion, beauty, entertainment. I love music, but as far as like a genre, 
one thing that's really been speaking to me lately is like Caribbean. I love Caribbean beats and like soul R and B. It's been touching my soul lately. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope, man. So how can people actually listen to your music? What platforms are they on? And as well, too, how can they follow you? All right. So I'm actually on all streaming platforms. So SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, um, everything, YouTube, everything. You can just search up Rena B. Um, that's my actual stage name, Instagram, Rena B from the DMV. But um, if you search up Rena B, you can search up Choosy, Hard to Love, Can't Pay Me. Those are my most recent songs, and you should be able to get a hit on those and be able to pull me up. Go ahead, everybody. Listen to her right now, man. The experiment just put you on. Thank and you. for two, follow me as well, man, at H E N R Y F L O underscore DCF. That's Henry Flow underscore DCF. Follow as well, Migo Experiment, Migo Productions, man. Comment yes. below, subscribe. Anybody want to holler at Ms. Rena B? Hold up. Single, ready to mingle, or are you taking what's, what's the deal? Single. But I'm, I'm, I'm in my own little world. I'm like married to my career for real. All right, so you shoot the DMs to her. You know where to go get at her. <laughs> if she ignore you, because she's married to her career. She just told you right now, man. You know, that husband be knocking on that door to let her know you need a new come to work. So, that being said, Rina yeah, you B, better, you better be trying to collab on that check something. <laughs> Rina B, thank you, thank you for actually making the time for us to uh, interview you. Any last words for you. Know, other people actually listening to you? No, thank you guys. Um, definitely keep up with my music. Everything is straight from the heart. I write all my music. I pick all my beats or, you know, I work with producers to help compose my beats. So definitely tune in. Um, I have my brand, The Elevated Experience. Um, it's a brand that's cultivated around musicians, business owners here in the local area. So if you're a musician, if you're a business owner, you ever want to perform or showcase your brand, the Elevated Experience, we're more than happy to take you guys and have you guys come out and show your your art, show your work, or your craft, all that stuff. So definitely tap in. We're going to be from the DMV, The Elevated X, and I'll keep up with y'all. Yo, that's super dope, man. As well, too, big shout out to HOF Enterprise, man, taking care of your tag and title services. As well, for artists, you need to copyright your stuff or get your stuff published as well. Hit them up, 301-937-TAGS. That's 301-937-8247. Thank you. Take care. See you next week. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. Mm -hmm.